Thank you, the ranking member. I now recognize the gentleman from uh, Mississippi, Mr. Ezel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Admiral, for being here today. Uh, my home state of Mississippi is a hub for shipbuilding in the United States. For decades, Engel Shipbuilding in Pascagoula has delivered vessels for the United States Coast Guard and the Navy. This includes 10 of the 11 planned national security cutters to the Coast Guard, and they are on track to deliver the final vessels in the next few years. Additionally, Bollinger, also in my district, is contracted by the Coast Guard to build the Polar Security Cutter, the first heavy icebreaker to be built in the United States in nearly 50 years. Despite these accomplishments, shipyards in my state are struggling to find an adequate workforce. While the shipyards are working on solutions, more needs to be done to ensure the long-term success of these shipyards in the local economy in Southeast Mississippi. Companies like Bollinger continue to hire and train workers at a rate that previous owners of the facility hadn't seen in over a decade. Admiral Fagan, how is the Coast Guard navigating these workforce challenges and supporting the shipyards? We've talked to just uh, now about my own workforce challenges and work for, workforce is a challenge for all, uh, all employers. We continue to work with the yards on the Gulf Coast who we have contracts with, whether it's polar security cutter, fast response cutters, the offshore patrol cutter, and recognize that workforce and steady, reliable, predictable work for those yards becomes a critical uh, way for them to create certainty uh, for their, their workforce and, and continue to, to look to create that uh, certainty and predictability so that workforce can be, be hired, trained, and employed. It's critical to our national security. Thank you. Uh, I'm also encouraged by the recent uh, trilateral agreement between the U.S., Canada, and Finland to place South Mississippi as the icebreaker capital uh, of the world for our allies. Uh, the Navy has funding to invest in shipyards that help make capital improvements. Uh, these investments enhance shipyard operations and support improving the workforce, resulting in better products for the federal government, service members, and ultimately all Americans. We know smaller shipyards often contract with the Coast Guard. Do you think the Coast Guard would benefit from a similar investment fund? Access to ship building and ship repair capacity is critical to the Coast Guard's readiness and critical to our national security. Any opportunity to increase the resiliency of the national defense industrial base as it pertains to shipbuilding is overall a good strategy and would benefit not just the Coast Guard, but the nation. Very good. Thank you. I'd like to move to something else here just for a minute about the shrimping and fishing industry in my district. These hardworking mariners and fishermen help feed the United States and contribute significantly to Southeast Mississippi economy. I continue to hear about the impact of illegal, unregulated, and unreported fishing on these families. We must continue to fight the illegal dumping and enforce the UFLPA. We've seen these foreign countries, mainly the CCP, have no regard for our laws or our communities. With a growing threat, to the IUU around the world, especially with China's more aggressive fishing fleet, do you agree more investments should be made to increase the FRC acquisitions? Yeah, illegal fishing is a crime, and it's a crime that is committed around the globe. The best counter for illegal fishing is creating on scene and on water a presence. So any investments uh, that create extra capacity to counter that crime of illegal fishing is a benefit. The fast response cutters have been exceptional assets for us, not just in illegal fishing, but in many of the other missions and operations we conduct as a Coast Guard. Very good. What legal authority does the Coast Guard have to bring these perpetrators of IUU fishing to justice? We, we engage in countering illegal fishing literally uh, around the world. And uh, in, in some cases, we, we partner with ally and partner nations to allow them to exercise their own sovereignty and their own authorities in their own waters. With regard to IUU fishing in the Gulf of Mexico, we continue to engage to counter that activity and create 
opportunities for enforcement and consequences to breaking the law. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to invite you down to Bollinger Marine. You can see the progress that's being made down there. Uh, and I'd like to invite any member on this committee to come see what we're doing down there for the Coast Guard. So with that, I yield back. 